Hey, it's Thomas here, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at JBJ's Maxim Battery Backup Air Pump. If you want a battery backup to keep the water circulating in your reef tank or your quarantine tank in the event of a power outage, or even for long haul trips from frag swaps and not so local fish stores, and need an option to fit a budget under $100 that is capable of lasting up to 48 hours with dual ports to provide circulation to a couple of smaller tanks or a single larger tank with a whopping eight liters per minute or 127 gallons per hour of airflow, then check out JBJ's Maxim battery backup air pump. Definitely one of the stronger battery backup air pumps that I've come across. Plus, it's got a neat little feature that you can take advantage of if you have one of these, but I'm gonna touch on that in a little bit. Water circulation is extremely important for gas exchange and oxygenation. If the water in your aquarium stops moving, especially at the surface, the O2 levels in the tank will begin to fall. This is why power outages can be so disastrous for our reefs. A tank can go much longer without heat, light, and food than it can without proper oxygenation, which is exactly why more and more reefers are turning to battery backups for water circulation. Not every reefer will want to spend hundreds on outfitting their main circulation pumps with battery backups, or will have the cash laying around to drop on a gas generator just in case. Maybe you already have battery backups for your display tank, and you're just in need of a more budget-friendly option for a quarantine tank that isn't always up and running. Or maybe you're a reefer with a Nano or Pico reef tank and need something a little more practical for that smaller aquarium. The JBJ Maxim is just that, a battery backup air pump that uses lithium ion batteries to provide up to 48 hours of water circulation through two outlets so you can keep O2 levels up by providing water circulation while breaking surface tension to facilitate gas exchange in your reef tank. It pushes a whopping four liters per minute out of each of its outlets for a total of eight liters per minute, making it more than twice as powerful as less expensive battery air pump options while providing the same battery life. In the box, you'll find the JBJ Maxim and the power supply. To set up the Maxim, you'll also wanna pick up some airline tubing and a pair of diffusers or sponge filters, or if you wanna combine both outlets on the pump to a single diffuser or sponge filter, a small T-fitting. Personally, I also like using a check valve in the line if the air pump is going to be sitting below the top of the water line in the aquarium, just to prevent any kind of back siphoning. First, cut the tubing to length and use it to join the air pump to the diffuser or filter, and then plug it into power. Once you've got it plugged in, you can power it on and start using it as a full-time air pump or leave it powered off to charge up fully. There are four touch capacitive buttons on the top of the Maxim, one for power to turn it on and off, one to switch between constant mode and six second interval mode, as well as a plus and minus button to control the flow of the pump with four increments to dial it in for your aquarium. The Maxim can last up to 24 hours running in constant mode, but can be switched into interval mode at any time to extend the battery life up to 48 hours by automatically turning airflow on and off in six second intervals, which can definitely make the difference in an emergency situation like a power outage. For larger four foot tanks, I'd recommend using it at max and having the two ports run an air diffuser to each side of the aquarium. For tanks under three feet, you can use a T to join the two outputs into a single output and turn down the airflow as needed. While the Maxim is definitely a good option to protect your tank in the event of a power outage, just like a gas generator, you've gotta be home to turn it on. But with that said, this is a phenomenal option for a quarantine system. Many of us use simple sponge filters on our quarantine tanks, and those sponge filters are driven by an air pump. The Maxim can power your sponge filters full time, stay plugged into an outlet so it's always fully charged, and if there is ever a loss of power to your home, or if a breaker trips or the GFCI outlet trips, the Maxim will keep on pumping away without missing a beat, meaning your QT tank is automatically on battery backup and staying oxygenated. And like I mentioned earlier, the Maxim has an interesting little trick up its sleeve. There's a USB port on the back labeled charge out. This port isn't for charging your phone or your tablet, so don't even try it, but instead is meant to power a small low powered light like this tiny little USB LED light that I just happen to have kicking around. So in a situation where you have no power and the room is dark and you're lacking a flashlight, it can help give you a bit of light to work around the tank while you get your aquariums prepared to last the duration of the power outage. 
Power outages are awful, but they're not the only reason to have redundancies or backups on your tank. There are all kinds of different failure points or scenarios that can happen that can wipe out your tank if you don't have a way to protect your tank from it. Ryan has an amazing episode in the 52 Weeks of Reefing you can check out right here that goes over all kinds of different things, how you can set up redundancies to prevent them from causing your tank to crash. Because we don't set these things up to watch them just fall apart right in front of us. We want them to last for as long as possible and watch our pets thrive, so have a watch.